News Network, home of the High School Basketball Starting Five Award, and the best overall sports coverage in the Valley. The flats and in, scoops it up and in. She's got it, up and good. This is the WKBN High School Basketball Game of the Week, Thursday edition. Sponsored by Stadium GM on My YTV. Coming to you live from Western Reserve High School, it is a special presentation. Girls action in the WKBN High School Basketball Game of the Week tonight. It is Jackson Milton at 15-1, facing off with Western Reserve at 14-5. Hi again, everybody. Chad Krasinski alongside Will Klusinik. Our keys to the game are brought to you by Youngstown Phantoms Hockey. First of all, get defensive. These two teams are stellar. Rip the nets. We'll see some great shooting. Finally, revel in the rivalry. This one as good as it gets in terms of rivalry games. And we're underway as the opening tip controlled by Western Reserve Kennedy Miller. Has it for the Blue Devils. Off the dribble comes Alexis Hughes. There's a takeaway. Abigail Spaulding promptly turns it over. It's great atmosphere here tonight between two rivals. Absolutely, and you talked about it a little bit earlier as far as are they going to be able to kind of focus here, control their emotions early. You talked about the rivalry. Who's going to come out these first couple minutes, have their confidence, and get the quality looks that they need early? Out of the wing, this is Sigworth. And now Kennedy Miller off the dribble, up top. They swing it into the corner. Three ball up off the rim, no good. And the rebound comes down to Ashley Cameron for the Blue Jays. Over the time stripe into the forecourt, it's Emily Williams off the dribble. She whips it out to the Lady Jays' leading scorer, Nicolina Terranova, who's been battling the flu bug this week. Terranova has it on the wing. Cross-court skip pass, Williams, long two, up, and she knocks it down. What great patience by the Blue Jays. Good ball movement, get the defense moving, knock down the first shot of the night. Kennedy Miller, dribble drive, up off the rim, it's no good. Offensive rebound by Brooke Morris, and she was able to draw the contact and the foul. And that's what you want to see getting active early by your center. Excellent take, getting to the rim to, by Miller, and you can see, thinking rebound first, getting in position, and getting the foul. Foul is called on Haley Lingle as the free throw is up, no good. Brooke Morris for the free throw line. Morris is a 72.7% free throw shooter. Just underway here in the opening quarter, free throw up. And it's off the back of the rim, reserve of the rebound as the ball squirts out of bounds. We'll stay right here with the Blue Devils. And those are one of the things that drive coaches crazy. You've got to be able to step up the line, get contact, and secure that rebound on the free throw. Kennedy Miller, the daughter of Western Reserve head coach Steve Miller, Carried the ball, and the turnover will give it right back to Jackson Milton. Unable to get in the offense what they needed to do, and you can see Coach Miller not real happy with that possession. So here we go. Ball in the hands of Nicolina Terranova. Onto the wing, it's Julia Bogdan who's just checked in. Terranova, onto the wing, Williams. Williams off the dribble. Good interior defense, Western Reserve comes up with the steal. Alexis Hughes, skip pass, left wing, three ball in the air. It's an air ball, cleaned up Hughes, puts it up over everything, off the miss. Jackson Milton with a rebound, Blue Jays want to run. Up at the top of the key, it's Michalina Terranova. This is a very devoted Blue Jays team that comes into this one very, very disappointed after having a 24-game regular season win streak snapped earlier this week. Three ball rattles up and in. Rubber rim for Emily Williams. You said it, Chad, rubber rim. Very kind rim, but that's a good-looking shot. Kennedy Miller has it for reserve. And it is up, but there's a... 
foul called on Julia Bogdan. Miller doing a great job of, of probing and penetrating. And even on the last possession, you get a transition three. And why you like to take those, Not defense isn't set, you get some board coverage, and you get those second chance opportunities. So good looks right now for West Reserve. Kennedy Miller puts the floater up a little bit too strong. The rebound comes down to Haley Lingle. Lingle to the line, to the lane, gets to Terra Nova. Floater up, air ball. Rebound Sorensky for reserve. There's some full court pressure from Jackson Milton. And we have a jump ball called. Good tie up. And I, caught, I talked to Coach Miller about that pressure. I said, we've got to be aware of it. We've got to make sure we've got people in position uh, and not get stuck in bad situations. And they did right there. And there's a travel, Chad. Spalding saw an opening in the paint, took it. Tried to get there a little quicker by shuffling the shoes. As we will see Western Reserve go to the bench, it's Matty Owen checking in, replacing Brooke Morris. And right now, Western Reserve getting a lot of good looks, unable to, to capitalize but you've still got to just maintain that same composure. You're getting good looks. You've got to play defense on the other end, but we're ready to knock these down. Sorensky feeds it over to Owen. Back of the right wing, Kennedy Miller. Into the hands of Sigworth. Now Sorensky penetrates. Owen, and now Sigworth. And here is Kennedy Miller. 423 left in the opening quarter. It is 5-0 in favor. Jackson Milton. Outside the three-point line. Sigworth swing it around into the corner. Sorensky. Unselfish play. Miller puts it up. Nope. And the rebound comes down to Spalding for Jackson Milton into the hands of Nicolina Terranova, who looks back at veteran head coach Pat Kenny. We are halfway home in this opening quarter. Terranova on the left wing. It was defended there by Miller. Terranova into the corner. Baseline jumper up and good. Nicely done for Haley Langle. And credit Terranova drawing the defense, making sure she creates that opportunity. Baseline jumper 7-0. Blue Jays. Kennedy Miller able to draw the contact and the foul. 331 left here in quarter number one and with that we will take time out Jackson Milton fresh off the loss with a one touchdown lead here at the 331 mark of the opening quarter you're watching live coverage of the WKBN high school basketball game of the week shop 24 7 at stadiumgm.com where you can view the entire inventory Everything is marked down during the winter meltdown sale at the Stadium Used Car Superstore in Salem. We've got over 250 safe inspected vehicles with payments that won't start till May. We've got cars from $99 per month, though in the snow pickups from just $159 a month. And specials like a Lordstown built Chevy Cruze from only $9,900 or just $139 a month with zero down. And don't worry about credit problems. We can and will help you get financed. So hurry into the store that has just what you're looking for. The Stadium GM Used Car Superstore in Salem. back to the home of the Western Reserve Blue Devils. It's Jackson Milton, however, racing out to a 7-0 lead as we welcome you back. Chad Krasbinski, Will Klusenik back with you. Of course, this is the second meeting between the two. Jackson Milton won the first meeting 58-52 back on the 4th of January. Blue Devil basketball. Kennedy Miller surveys the scene, looks, and whips it into Brooke Morris. Into the hands of Sorensky, who has her pocket picked. Emily Williams with the theft. Ahead to Terranova. Terranova penetrates, pulls it back outside the three-point line into the hands of Bogdan. Great feed underneath. 
McDevitt couldn't put it in. Offensive rebound by Terra Nova. Right near the elbow, up and good. Ashley Cameron knocked it in. Another assist by Terra Nova. What's really been impressive about the Blue Jays, they are an excellent passing team. Finding the right player, finding the gaps in the zone, and the players are making them pay. Sorensky. Back up to the top of the key, Alexis Hughes. Onto the wing, it's Kennedy Miller. Miller with a dribble drive, cut off near the baseline. Back out to the wing. Miller slices into the paint, puts it up and in, plus the foul. And Miller, that's about her third or fourth time that she's been able to go to the dribble drive, probe a little bit, and get to the interior. She now has the opportunity for the old-fashioned three-point play with that nice one off the glass. Miller showing the ability to score. She certainly distributes the ball well. 90 assists coming in. She's averaging just over nine points per contest. Unable to knock the free throw in off the miss. Cameron with the rebound. Down the floor comes Terranova. Nicolina Terranova, top of the key, McDevitt. Near side, Williams for three. Up, no good. Terranova cleans it up and sticks it in. Plus the foul. Just a few uh, possessions. Now, Coach Miller was definitely worried about Terranova and a lot of the different things she can do. And we've seen this in this first quarter as far as her distributing the ball, Chad, you know, getting her teammates involved, again, rebounding and being in the right place at the right time. Now with the opportunity for the N1. Terranova, just an outstanding athlete. Scored her 1,000th career point, of course, already. And off the miss, ball out of bounds. And it'll go back to Western Reserve with 221 left here in quarter number one. Nine point lead at the moment for Jackson Milton. Out of the wing, left side Sorensky. Back up, top side Hughes. This is Miller. Taking it baseline, cut off right near the paint. Lob underneath, pass picked off. Abigail Spaulding racing ahead of the pack. Puts it up off the rim, no good. Cleaned up by Bogdan. This is Williams. Too strong. Hughes with a rebound for Western Reserve, and she is subsequently fouled. Now that's one thing when you try to trap the rebounder you know, that far away, you want to make sure you don't just want to reach in there. And that's going to be a, a foul on Spalding, and that's going to be her second. So the team foul situation looks like this. Five for Jackson Milton, one on Western Reserve. Miller, bounce pass to Sigworth just inside the three-point line. Oh, what a move. Sigworth puts it up and in, puts the foul. Very nice job with the misdirection from the high post. They're looking for the handoff, they fake it. Really nice job of squaring up Sigworth with the finish. An opportunity for the N1. Steve Miller, when referring to Sigworth, he said, look, she works out so much, find her in the weight room. He called her a ball of muscle. She showed some strength there. Absolutely showed some strength, and that's what you need. Some of that physicalness down low, not afraid to mix it up. Free throw up and good. Jackson Milton goes back to the bench. Haley Lingle will check in. It's a six point lead for Jackson Milton at the moment. Michalina Terranova brings it across the time stripe, whips it across to Williams. They feed McDevitt. Air pass out of bounds, back to reserve. And right now, with a minute 15, this gives Reserve the opportunity to at least get something out of this quarter, being down a 7-0 deficit, have a few good possessions, score, stop, score, you know, and, and get yourself back into this game. Olivia Pater has checked in. Take away. McDevitt forces the turnover. Emily Williams gives to Terranova, who thought about the baseline jumper, elected to whip it out to Lengel. Here is Williams. McDevitt feeds it inside. There's Lingle raising up, missing. Offensive rebound, cleaned up by McDevitt, and she draws the foul. When you look at the Blue Jays, dissecting the zone by the pass, by the ball movement, and then great job of creating those 
extra shot opportunities by thinking, rebound, getting to the weak side. McDevitt there to get herself to the line now. Good to see McDevitt in the game. She's battling an ankle injury. And she's gritting it out. She's a 50% free throw shooter. And it's back to a seven point lead for the Blue Jays. And now it is 13 8. As we're down to 40 seconds, rolling clock here in this opening quarter. Kennedy Miller has it out of the wing to Olivia Pater. There's Miller thinking about the three, back to Pater. Good ball fake. Williams firing, three ball, air ball. And the ball is saved in, and then the whistle blows. And it's out of bounds with 13.7 seconds left. And it's going to stay here. Now the officials will converse, and it belongs to Jackson Milton. Yeah, just a little misdirection there. He had the right call. Just pointed the wrong way. Ball in the hands of Nicolina Terranova. Down to seven seconds. Terranova over to Williams. Into the corner. McDevitt for three. Off the rim, no good. Rebound is controlled by Western Reserve. And we have an over-the-back call against Jackson Milton. And it will be tagged to Ashley Cameron with one single solitary second left on the clock. And we're going to head to the other end and shoot a one-and-one. -and, -one. and this is an advantage for Western Reserve. We're going to see in the second quarter if they're able to take advantage of this foul situation and get themselves on the free throw line, get some easy points, and get back uh, and get some positive uh, plays here. Morgan Donathan with a free throw miss. And with that, the first quarter is in the books. We've played eight minutes here in Berlin Center. It's 13-7 in favor of Jackson Milton. You're watching live coverage of the WKBN High School Basketball Game of the Week. Make the short drive to Stadium GM in Salem, Ohio to find your next vehicle. Nightline Embroidery and Screen Print in Girard has been a proud sponsor of the player of the game for over 10 years. For all of your personalized school or business apparel, event and business signs and posters, they've got you covered. There's only one place to go, Nightline, West Liberty Street, Girard. Welcome to Youngstown Phantoms Hockey. Phantoms tickets are on sale now, starting at just $10. For tickets, call 330-747-7825. Hey, I heard you bought a really nice car from Sweeney. Yeah, I saw a commercial and they were all like, we take the hassle out of used car buying. So I went in and the sales guy said, did you know Sweeney has the largest selection of certified vehicles around? I found what I liked and the finance guy tells me, we have tons of financing options available. No problem. So I bought it. And on the way out the door, I could have sworn I heard. Sweeney. They're the classic American family with a twist. I raised a moron. I love you, Boopy. Oh, oh my no. God. Oh, my God. But they're the family yeah. you can't help but love. Family takes care of family. This is what we do. The Goldbergs feel the love every weeknight. I got you, baby. Oh, God, no, I don't. Weeknights at 6.30 on MyYTV. Nightline Embroidery and Screen Print in Girard has been a proud sponsor of the player of the game for over 10 years. For all of your personalized school or business apparel, event and business signs and posters, they've got you covered. If there's only one place to go, Nightline, West Liberty Street, Girard. Wow, that is a jubilant, colorful group with a nice array of eclectic costumes, yep. All set for the second quarter. It's 13-5, possibly. <laughs> possibly is right. As we look up at the scoreboard, they have, for some reason or another, not been able to have that score clock head back down to all zeros. 
And so we may have to play nine tenths of a second left in the opening quarter. Either way, we're going to keep it here. Or we're just going to keep resetting for the 0.8 seconds and just keep playing it like that. I know when you work with electronic devices, Chad, my go to is I'll just kind of unplug it, restart it, keep unplugging it and see what happens. Slam it down on yeah. the ground, right? Sometimes you got to work it over a little bit. So while we have a stoppage of play, we can remind you that every week we'll pick the player of the game. It's one player that has made the greatest impact during the game. It's sponsored by Nightline Embroidery and Screen Printing. We'll feature the player of the game every Monday night at 11 o'clock on WKBN 27 First News. It looks like, Chad, they're uh, going to the reliever. They're bringing in the extra box. So they're bringing in the, the new scoreboard box and we'll check out and see if that will fix things can't say enough about the hospitality here at western reserve jeff Mardig, the athletic director doing an outstanding job and those folks have been very accommodating and of course we're going to make ourselves nice and comfortable as i look at the clock it says zero again so whatever jeff did worked we're going to be right back here tomorrow night as the western reserve boys team you knew you'd see Head coach Andy Hank of the football side, but we're going to be back here tomorrow night. It's going to be a big one. It's that battle of the Blue Devils. It's Western Reserve and McDonald will have it all for you tomorrow night at 7 o'clock right here on my YTV as well as streaming live at WKBN.com and the WKBN mobile app. Now, this, Chad, this is one of these situations. I'm not sure if this helps one team or the other, but Western Reserve didn't come out blazing you know western reserve played well of 13 to 5 and again we've played this play several times now so you're going to get another timeout another stoppage in play you know so again gives west reserve maybe a time to kind of reset refresh and, and put that quarter in the rear view mirror so now we're set for the second quarter after let's say a little scoreboard malfunction we can roll whenever since we've already taken our first quarter break and we'll be ready to go for quarter number two. We'll assess what you have seen so far from these two Mahoning Valley Athletic Conference powers. Of course, the conference crown is on the line tonight. If Jackson Milton comes up with the victory, they will win the conference crown. And that's always a, a big thing when you start out the season and you have those workouts. Of course, they've gotten it done from all over the floor emily williams with the triple and she knocks it in and again you look at it jackson milton has been able to shoot the three ball all season long and she drained that one and i think that's the difference Shed. they blue jays have done a great job of passing the ball and making their shots and and coach miller that's what he talked about you know we've got to be able to knock down a couple shots early to build that confidence just like that. Matty Owen knocked it in. And it is 13-7 in favor of Jackson Milton. Last Thursday, not a week ago, Jackson Milton failed to make a three-point field goal for the first time all season. There's a near turnover. Jackson Milton will control, however, as Williams swings it across into the hands of Michalina Terranova. Terranova, near side in the corner. It's Lengel, Williams, and now over to Abigail Spaulding. Ball in the hands of Terranova, who's an offensive threat every time she touches the ball. She's also a great distributor. Back out front to Williams. Blue Jays really going with that horns look, trying to use the screen, letting the opposite post player dive, trying to get the opportunity. And you can see West Reserve doing a pretty good job of making sure they're stopping that first initial look. Eric Pass, tracked down by Spaulding, controlled by Williams. And now into the corner, Terranova. Just underway in the second quarter, Michalina Terranova back out front. Brings it on to the left wing to Lingle. Lingle to Williams. And now Terranova. Terranova penetrates. The ball bounces out of bounds. Called her name a number of times already. Terranova 
to this point has but two points. But very active, doing a lot of things. And there's the travel. And the turnover will give it right back to Western Reserve. And that was a good defensive series by Western Reserve. They got a couple of deflections, didn't get the ball, but stuck with it, and they were able to get the turnover with that travel. So they get the stop. Now let's see if they can put a few scores together here to build that confidence. Shot off the mark by Morgan Donathan. Here comes Williams. Over to Terranova. Terranova is trapped, and then she whips it off. The knee of Western Reserve's Alyssa Sorensky. And it'll stay with the Blue Jays. Williams to trigger it in. Terranova back to Williams. She thought about the three and then thought better of it. Underneath, Ashley Cameron tied up. And will go to the possession arrow, which is going to keep it right here. I like the footwork, just a little bit of indecision. Got to make sure you chin the ball, get it up quick, or get it out of your hands. Williams into Terranova. A little bit short. Rebound ripped down by Alexis Hughes. There's that pressure from the Blue Jays. Reserve breaks the press. It's Kennedy Miller. Miller out of the wing. It's Owen. Back to Miller. 542 left in the second quarter. Sorensky over to Miller. Three ball up off the rim, no good. Hughes with the offensive rebound. She puts it up off the front edge. It won't go. Terranova racing ahead in transition and now slows it up. Over to Emily Williams. Three ball in the air. Off the rim, no good. Morgan Donathan with the rebound. Another good look for both teams. It's not able to capitalize. So it's West Reserve still down six. Miller outside Owen. Off the dribble. Sorensky walked with the basketball, and the turnover gives it right back to Jackson Milton. And that was a good idea. Sometimes you get the feet shuffling before the ball goes down. Time out on the floor. We will keep it here with 5.07 left to play here in the first half. A low-scoring affair at 13-7. Jackson Milton offense has averaged just under 58 points a game. Western Reserve offensively averaging just under 59 points per game. So these two holding each other in check, but you look at the defenses and you can see exactly why things have been so low scoring. The Blue Jays giving up just under 31 points a contest. Meanwhile, Reserve allowing 43.9 points. Yeah, both teams doing a great job defensively, but also, too, there's some open looks that both teams haven't been able to knock down. And you can see right there, three of 10 and three of eight shooting. So I'm sure both coaches would like to see some of those percentages get into the 40s. Pocket picked by reserve. And we have a whistle. And we have a foul. And it's Jackson Milton's Michalina Terranova. Picking up the personal. And it, what an opportunity now for Western Reserve. Foul in the backcourt. Get the opportunity to get to the free throw line and, and build some of that confidence. And that's a great job of getting there, going to the line and knocking down. Sorensky puts it in. She's the best dribble, drive, pull-up jumper scorer. For Western Reserve, she's a 73.7% free throw shooter. That looks good there, man. Smooth. She can get it done going to the basket and also pulling up. She cuts it to a four-point lead for Jackson Milton. This is Spalding. Back outside to McDevitt. Now Spalding taking it baseline. Spalding into the corner. Turnover for three. Got it! Just very patient. Not in any hurry. She knew the spot she needed to be in. The teammate found her. Terranova knocks it down for three. 16-9 is our score as we approach the four-minute mark of the second quarter. Kennedy Miller pitches to Sorensky. Into the hands of Alexis Hughes. Out to Miller. Top of the key. And Terranova, I think it was, picked up the personal. She got popped in the mouth as well. It is Terranova. 
Picking up the personal. That'll be her second by my count. And I was just going to really commend her defensively, cutting off the lane. But sometimes you get a little bit too itchy, reached in there, thought she could get it, got the foul called. Emma Heater has checked in. And that's going to be her second foul, too, Chad. Miller puts it in. So the Blue Devils in the double figures, down by just six. Miller trying to cut it to five, and she does just that. Now some pressure from reserve. Sorensky with a steal underneath Miller, puts it up and in. Defense leading the offense, high percentage shots, getting a steal on the press and causing them some problems on this possession as well. Spalding penetrates, stops, outside to Williams. Top of the key, McDevitt thought about the three. Into the hands of Williams. And now Williams looks back at veteran coach Pat Kenny. Williams around to the left side, gives to Terra Nova. She raises up from the free throw line, feeds it back to McDevitt. It is an air ball, and the ball is out of bounds. And with that, with 3.31 left to play, here in the second quarter, we will take time out. Got ourselves a ball game on this Thursday night. Jackson Milton by three on the WKBN High School Basketball Game of the Week. Stadium GM only uses certified technicians and genuine replacement parts. Looking for that carefree retirement lifestyle you deserve? Villa Living at Copeland Oaks offers beautiful, maintenance-free homes at affordable monthly rental. Enjoy friendly folks in a quiet, safe neighborhood setting. These charming, unique homes offer many amenities, plus all the benefits of community living. Fall in love with retirement living at its very best. Visit us online or in person to experience the Copeland Oaks difference. Snow days were magical. You just were planning on what wonderful things you were going to do that day. It's a little bit different as a parent. The huge wrench that throws into your planning, we're pinpointing where those snow showers are happening, where those higher accumulations helps to watch in the evening and, of course, to tune in in the morning to see how conditions changed while you were sleeping. This winter, trust WYTV on air, online, and on your phone. Sponsored by Northern Ohio Honda Dealers, Dallas Hartman Attorneys at Law, and Groover Roofing and Siding. Jackson Milton can clinch a Mahoning Valley Athletic Conference crown with a victory here tonight. So they're in for quite a battle. 16-13, Blue Jays by three as we welcome you back. Chad Krasinski, Wilk Klusenik with you. McDevitt takes the feed and puts it in. McDevitt, very patient, excellent footwork, high percentage shot finish. Sorensky for three, it's off the mark. Offensive rebound by Miller. This is Pater, cross-court pass Sorensky. Top of the key, Miller firing three ball. That went off the rim, cleaned up underneath, up over everything, ball tied up. And it is a whistle and a foul. And the foul is tagged to Western Reserve. And it's going to be called on Sorensky. That is her first. So we're down to 3.04. Remaining in the first half. And Western Reserve, another opportunity. Got a lot of good looks. But you can see this pressure right now. Bothering the Blue Jays a little bit. That pressure forces the turnover. And it'll go right back to Western Reserve. Into the ball game is Laura Sigworth sitting down. Maddie Owen. Miller to fire it in. Miller whips it into Hughes, into the corner. It's Donovan. Sorensky feeds Miller, who penetrates. Back outside, here's Sorensky for three. Off the rim, no good, rebound ripped down by Ashley Cameron. Into the hands of Nicolina Terranova. 2.36, clock rolling in the second quarter. Terranova over to Lingle. This is Williams out front crossing over, back to Lingle. 
Lingle penetrates to Terranova. Terranova crosses over back to Lingle. Into the paint, Lingle feeding Williams. Williams off the dribble, cut off at the corner. This is Abigail Spaulding. 2-11, rolling clock. That defense ratcheted up by Western Reserve. Here is Lingle, who was so pivotal in the first meeting, seven points in overtime in that Jackson Milton victory by six. And I like the patience by the Blue Jays. Just moving the ball like they have this entire game, keeping it spread out, making sure they make the right decisions, but good step in. Hughes with a steal. Up the floor, Hughes puts it up and in. And Hughes, great anticipation, and able to take it coast to coast. 18-15 is our score. 90 seconds left until halftime. Terranova looks back at her coach and now directs traffic. Here's Lingle, who whips it to Williams in the corner. Williams back up to Lingle. Here's Spaulding crossing over. Bounce pass into the corner. Three ball up for Terranova. It won't go. Rebound down to Sigworth of Western Reserve. A three will tie it up. Sorensky feeds to Donathan underneath. Shot partially deflected, or at least defended well. Here's Terranova finding a seam off the glass. A little bit too strong. Out of bounds. It'll stay here with 51.9 seconds left. And Terranova had the point blank shot, unable to finish. You got 51.9 seconds. Well, Blue Jays up three. And they've done a nice job of moving the ball, but not afraid. If they get a good quality look, they're going to take it. Emily Williams into the corner. This is Lingle. And it is a double dribble call. Coach Miller might have put on those stripes right there. He was right on that call. So once again, reserve with an opportunity to tie if they can connect on a three-point field goal in the final 48.7 seconds left. Going to possibly try to run a little four out, spread them out, maybe dribble drive, and that way you can maybe get a kickback three or something off of penetration. Sorensky gives to Owen. Closing in on a half minute left. This is Sigworth. There's the takeaway. Terranova comes up with it. Line lane puts it up. It won't go, but she's going to go to the free throw line and shoot two. Chad, we talk about situational basketball all the time. Before that turnover, my first, my words out of my mouth were gonna be, what a great opportunity for them to go in with the last shot. And you can see the reach foul with Terranova headed to the line. Nicolina Terranova draws the foul on Sorensky, and Terranova has been the driving force for this 15 and one start for Jackson Milton. She scored in double figures in each game this year and in 28 of her last 31 games played. She's an 81% free throw shooter. Terranova, good. Those were fantastic. Not just good. 20 to 15 is our score. Down to 15 seconds left. We'll see if reserve will hold for the final shot. Sorensky, cross court pass. Three ball up and good for Sigworth. We're down to five seconds left. Terra Nova up the floor. She raises up and knocks it down from way deep at the buzzer. An exclamation point. Nicolina Terranova drops one in from deep. Here at halftime, it is Jackson Milton 23, Western Reserve 18. And we'll bring you back and get our halftime festivities started after this on the WKBN High School Basketball Game of the Week. Apply now for a no-obligation car loan at StadiumGM.com. Everything is marked down during the winter meltdown sale at the Stadium Used Car Superstore in Salem. We've got over 250 safe inspected vehicles with payments that won't start till May. We've got cars from $99 per month, though in the snow pickups from just $159 a month. And specials like a Lordstown built Chevy Cruze from only $9,900 or just $139 a month with zero down. And don't worry about credit problems. We can and will help you get financed. So hurry into the store that has just what you're looking for. The Stadium GM Used Car Superstore in Salem. 
let me get uh, one of them there daybreaks. Lana, I need a nugget of knowledge. How long? Well, we're finishing up right now. Coming up at 610. Fresh and on. But make room for me. I'm up in 10 minutes. You'll never believe where I'm going. Oh, you got it. Oh, we got a breaking news update coming up. Uh, weather in the threes. Big changes for the weekend. Update is up in five minutes. But up next is Daybreak Nation on location. Have a great day. Their morning is busy just like yours, but they love serving you every day starting at 5 a.m. Is he cute or am I just wearing horny goggles? Goggles. You made the dean's list. Oh, honey, did you sleep with the dean? I didn't have to. I'm smart. Kids need space. Take it from me. Is that why I didn't see you my entire sophomore year? You're welcome. Mom, weeknights at 7.30 on MyYTV. The world changes quickly, and the news that matters to you happens 24 hours a day, seven days a week. WYTV.com, your local news source, bringing you stories from across the Mahoning Valley. And with WYTV.com, all the information you need is in your hands no matter where you go. Your pinpoint forecast, the very latest news from across the community, and breaking stories, all in one place. WYTV.com, your home for community news. We've got a great one brewing here in Berlin Center tonight. Western Reserve and Jackson Milton facing off. It's the Blue Jays getting the better end here at halftime with a five-point lead. Hi again, everybody. Chad Krispinski back with Will Klusenik. And boy, back and forth, these two teams went. The Mahoning Valley Athletic Conference crown hanging in the balance here tonight. Jackson Milton can clinch that. And we talk about how things went. Michalina Terranova on display, and she ended things in a bang in that first half right at the tail end. Absolutely. You can see right here, after a big three from West Reserve, you know, cut into that lead. And again, this was her demeanor the entire time. Just squares up, lets it rip, and it hit nothing but net. Big players make big plays in big key situations, and that's what Terranova did right there in the final seconds of quarter number two. Let's take a look back and revisit our keys to the game, which are brought to you by our friends at Youngstown Phantoms Hockey. First of all, get defensive. For the most part, a relatively low-scoring affair in this one. Absolutely, and I thought both teams, you know, had their spurts defensively. West Reserve picked up the pressure, would help them get back into this game ripping the nets and not shooting the ball very well, but we definitely had some timely makes. And the rivalry, you could see both teams really want this game. Jackson Milton roared out to a 7-0 lead here in this ball game. But it was all said and done. It was Western Reserve bouncing its way back into the contest. It is a 23-18 basketball game. When we come back, we'll take a look at some of the highlights and the numbers. That's next. You're watching live coverage of the WKBN High School Basketball Game of the Week. This halftime report is sponsored by Akron Children's Hospital, Mahoning Valley. Radiation exposure in children carries a lifetime risk of cancer to fix heart rhythm problems. What we're doing here lets us use GPS for the heart instead of radiation. If it's your child and you have a choice of the same procedure, the same outcome, but no radiation exposure and no long-term cancer risk, it's an easy choice. A local man is facing felony charges under Ohio's new animal abuse law. Tonight at 11, WYTV visits a local shelter to see how the dogs he owned are recovering. Tonight we head to Lowellville High School and hear from senior Nate Solak, a three-sport star and classroom standout for the Rockets. Colder air is sinking into the valley. That's going to turn on the lake effect snow machine. I'll show you how much to expect and a look at a storm for this weekend tonight at 11. 33 News is looking to celebrate the people who help make our community a better place to live. And we need your help to find people throughout the valley that are making a difference. So who is a hero? Maybe it's a teacher or a mentor or someone who's dedicated to helping animals. Go to WYTV.com and click on Hometown Heroes under Community to nominate someone deserving. See a different hometown hero every Wednesday at 6. Only on 33 WYTV. 
You took my father. Somebody's gonna pay for this. There's no crime more chilling. Heartless. No secret more revealing. Oh my lord. No story more surprising than a real-life Dateline mystery. That was pretty ugly crime scene. Yeah, it was particularly gruesome. This fall, follow every twist and turn five times a week. The chase is on. With Dateline. Weeknights at 10 on MyYTV. And welcome back to Western Reserve High School. We're here at halftime. It is Jackson Milton leading Western Reserve 23-18 in girls high school basketball action. Hi again, everybody. Chad Krasminski back alongside Will Klusenik. An entertaining first half of play. Two really good teams leaving it all on the floor. Yeah, what we expected. Probably Western Reserve didn't get off to the start that they wanted, but able to battle back, you know, get some buckets, use that defense. You know, and Miller was probably a big part of that. Let's take a look at our first half numbers, which are brought to you by Akron Children's Hospital, Mahoning Valley. Team numbers look this way. What stands out? Uh, you know, I think what stands out the most is, you know, it, it's been a pretty even game. Uh, the Blue Jays have been able to knock down, you know, a, a three at the buzzer that was the difference. A little bit better at the free throw line, but they both, you know, four and five, you know, uh, points at the front line, so not a big discrepancy. Western Reserve fought its way back into the contest due in large part to the efforts of Kennedy Miller. Kennedy Miller was the beneficiary of this takeaway as she was able to get the basket and the foul. And that helped the Blue Devils scratch their way back in. Rebounding edge goes the way of Jackson Milton. But again, both of these teams battling it out on the boards. But the big story in this first half, especially at the tail end, Nicolina Terranova. And again, she can do it driving to the basket and also from the outside. And we talked about that earlier. She, she's a difference maker, and she showed that in that first half. Leading scores look this way. Terranova in double figures once again. She's done it now in 29 of her last 32 games. Kennedy Miller with a half dozen in the first half of play. It all adds up to a 23-18 Jackson Milton lead here at halftime. When we come back, we'll have the third quarter. You're watching live coverage of the WKBN High School Basketball Game of the Week. You know, you can't fake this. Daybreak, weekdays, 5 to 7 a.m. At Diane Sauer Chevrolet, we have one goal, and that is to be your Chevy dealer. We can help you get out of your loan or lease early so you can get into a brand new car or a newer used car. Our two finance managers will help you get the loan you need, and we can help you get out of a touchy credit situation or discharge bankruptcy. The service and parts department have evening hours for your convenience, and our full service body shop will take care of your vehicle like it's our own. Discover the Diane difference at Diane Sauer Chevrolet. Welcome to Youngstown Phantom Talk. Phantom's tickets are on sale now, starting at just ten dollars. For tickets, call 330-747-7825. I think any kid loves the fact that when there's snow, it's, oh, are, are we going to have school tomorrow? You know, as you become an adult, it's more of a concern for treacherous roadways. Black ice can be a concern. I need to help people be prepared. I need to make sure that they know when it's hitting, that they know how much to expect, and that they know the impacts on them. It can be dangerous. This winter, trust WYTV on air, online, and on your phone. Sponsored by Northern Ohio Honda Dealers, Dallas Hartman Attorneys at Law, and Grover Roofing and Siding. Celebrate one of TV's greatest hits. Hey, I'm in. With the funny that really packs a punch. Whoever's right gets to slap the other person in the face as hard as they possibly can. And that's not a backhanded compliment. Oh. So get slap happy with the gang. It's already slap o'clock. Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. Wow. But are you going to cry? You're going to cry. How I Met Your Mother. Weekdays at 4 on My YTV. And welcome back to Berlin Center. Western Reserve High School, we're all set for the third quarter. Jackson Milton with a 23-18 lead as we're set for the second half. Chad Krispinski, Wilt Klusenik back with you. And again, with one half left, you'd imagine this thing 
as we're so used to, especially this season, but expect it to go right down to the wire. I can't expect it to be any other way. They went into overtime their first meeting. And it was Jackson Milton coming away with a 58-52 win in OT back on the 4th of January. Off the dribble, Alyssa Sorensky trying to draw some contact. Good defense. Ashley Cameron with a rejection. This is Michalina Terranova. Feeding it over to Lengel. Top of the key, Williams. Williams penetrates, dishes to Spaulding. Spaulding is cut off. Here is Lengel. Over to Williams. She crosses over, takes it baseline. Back out to Terranova. And this is what we saw in the first half. Blue Jays being very patient, looking for their spot. Great look underneath, and Cameron put it up and in. And there's another assist for Terra Nova. Reading the defense, seeing her teammate. Cameron knocking it in. The lead is back to seven. Backing in, it's Hughes. Hughes in traffic, just tried to muscle it up, and she was able to draw the contact and the foul. Yeah, that's two of the same type of plays trying to get themselves in there. Sometimes you can penetrate too deep, and you can see the arm right there and the foul. Excellent call by the officials. Free throw up, and the free throw is good for Hughes. Hughes is the only senior. She played as a freshman on the 2014-15 district championship team. She came into this one 25 points shy from 1,000. There's a steal, and she'll get two points closer with that mid-range jumper. I'll tell you what, that showed a lot of different things to me right there. Great anticipation, great read, handling the ball, pulls up, knocks it down. Terranova gets to Spaulding, who tracks down the errant pass, top of the key, Williams triggers and hits. Blue Jays have the answer, but that might be a little bit more of a pace. Reserves looking for down five, and every possession's gonna count in a game like this. Williams with seven. The feed underneath, stolen away by Terranova. Spaulding crossing over, brings it across, and now pitches it back to Michalina Terranova. I'll tell you what, I can't say enough about Terranova. Just so disciplined, poised, her demeanor, body language doesn't change, unfazed. Spaulding to Terranova. Three ball in the air, up over everything. Rebound back to Jackson Milton. Langle with a triple try of her own. And it is out of bounds on the air ball. And it'll go back to Western Reserve with 5.51 to play in quarter number three. And this feels like, Chad, that this has been the difference. A five-point you know, kind of cushion right now. And what an opportunity here for Reserve to cut into that and get some momentum, high percentage shot, and, and try to get those stops and just inch a little bit closer. But right now, it just feels like it's been that five-point cushion for a while here now. Hughes off the dribble, raising up, shot blocked! Blue Jays pushing it up the floor, traveling called. And it'll go back to Western Reserve with 532 left. Back to the bench goes Pat Kenny. Julia Bogdan is in, sitting down as Haley Lingle. Official Dankovich right on top of that. So we stay at a five-point ball game, 27-22. Maddie Owen brings it across the time stripe into the forecourt. She nearly walked. Back outside to Alexis Hughes. Here's Owen. Defended there by Cameron. Owen feeds it. Near side, Miller. Back to Owen. And into the corner, Sorensky. Hughes now will take the feed up top. A couple of really good players facing off now. Terranova defending Hughes with the ball. Hughes spinning into the paint. Has her pocket picked. Scrum for that ball. It's a jump ball. And the possession arrow is going to point in the opposite direction. It'll go to Jackson Milton. Sorensky, excellent job of getting on the floor, getting the tie up, and getting the jump ball, even though they don't get it. You know, and what I was going to say during the dribble drive, sometimes you can get yourself in a little bit of trouble with the dribble drive that you penetrate too deep and, and you, too much. You've got, you got to create the opportunities, but sometimes you got to make a quicker decision. Terranova, cut off left of the lane. 
Over to Spalding. Spalding has it ripped free from her grasp. Here is Hughes. Hughes onto the wing. Here's Miller. Miller looking to head around a screen. And Western Reserve has had a couple opportunities. We've been stuck at this score for a few possessions with that 27-22. They look to turn the corner here and get an outstanding possession here. 4.15 on a rolling clock. Hughes uh, back out front looking for a screen. Gets one from Donathan. Hughes takes it to the rock and puts it up and in. That's a great take. <laughs> Just absorbs the contact. Could have possibly had the foul call, but unfazed. Eight points for Alexis Hughes. 27-24, Terranova with the ball. Back out front to Julia Bogdan. Bogdan around to the right side, defended by Hughes. Hughes ties her up. Jump ball called. And the possession arrow will give it to Western Reserve with 3.46 left to play. Three forty-six left, and with that, we will take a timeout. 27-24 is our score. We'll bring you back to Berlin Center after this on the WKBN High School Basketball Game of the Week. Stadium GM is proud to sponsor the High School Basketball Game of the Week. I may not be from the Mahoning Valley, but I am from the Beaver Valley. I grew up about 20 minutes south of Columbiana County, but I made a ton of memories across this border. Mill Creek Metro Parks are a hidden gem in the valley, and one of my favorite places to be. <laughs> Especially when I get to bring my son and we ride the Cohasset Express. Local news from local people. Weeknights at 6 and 11 on 33 WYTV. Sir, you need to keep your hands where I can see them. America's favorite cops. Put your hands on your back. Are back on the street. Everybody in the car, hands on the roof. Put your hands up. Hands up right now. So hands up. Show your hands. For the reality series. Police, raise your hands. That started it all. We tell you to show us your hands, then you show us your hands. So put your hands up if you feel me. Cops, viewer discretion advised. Weekdays at 1 on MyYTV. And the plot thickens here in Berlin Center. 3.46 left to play in the third quarter. It is 27-24, Jackson milts it up by three, but Western Reserve is really scratching and clawing and fighting its way right back into the ball game. I think a lot of that has to do with uh, Alexis Hughes. Yep. Right now, eight points, four rebounds, three steals. Really starting to exert herself. Off the triple try, ball out of bounds, and it'll go back to the Blue Jays. Another quality look from Western Reserve, and we're going to see a little bit of that pressure that gave the Blue Jays a little bit of trouble in that first half. Terranova has it. Nearly stolen, but Williams controls. I had to Terranova outside the three-point line. Terranova. That's around a screen to the top of the key. Out of the wing, it's Williams racing up. Three ball up and good! And Williams has been pretty deadly from the outside. Able to knock it down from long distance, second of the night. Williams with 10. It's 30 to 24. Western Reserve with the ball now. It's Hughes. Hughes has it taken away. Picked up by the Blue Jays who want to run. Williams stops and pops and hits. That's a tough shot in transition. Elbow jumper. She thought nothing of it and knocked it in. 32-24 is our score. Sigworth has it. Up front to Miller. Clock rolling in the third quarter down to 222. Owen reverses her tracks. Takes it baseline. Owen defended again well by Williams. And we have a whistle and I believe a timeout taken. And, and Steve Miller says, why did I call that timeout? Uh, and very untimely timeout, because that was an excellent cut to help your teammate. And you can see it right here. Looks like you might be in a little bit of trouble. Owen Sigworth finds the cut. 
but Coach Miller, again, does call the timeout. And, and Williams, with those quick five points, now extend that lead back up to a working margin now for the Blue Jays. Two minutes, 10 seconds left to play in the third quarter. The lead is back to eight for Jackson Milton. If you're just tuning in, glad you're with us here live on MyYTV as well as online at WKBN.com at the WKBN mobile app. A Jackson Milton victory here tonight will clinch for the Blue Jays a Mahoning Valley Athletic Conference title. Western Reserve with the ball. It is into Sigworth. Here's Sorensky. Top of the key. Three ball in the air for Hughes. It won't go. And the rebound is ripped down by McDivitt. Inside of two left in the quarter. Nicolina Terranova with the ball. This is McDevitt who loses the handle. It's out of bounds on the baseline. And it'll go back to Western Reserve. And you can see right there with that graphic, Blue Jays plus six on the boards. And, and really has limited some of the opportunities for reserve. Sorensky to the top of the key. Miller inside the three-point line. Lendl with a steal, and then she was subsequently fouled. It'll be a foul called on Sigworth of Western Reserve. That'll be number three. This has been a very clean, I dare say, half of ball. <laughs> Two fouls, one per side. Terranova, some token pressure from reserve. She slices through that pressure. Terranova has it poked free from behind. Ball loose, jump ball called. And the possession arrow will keep it right here with a buck 19 left to play in the corner. Good sportsmanship there by Terranova. You like to see that. Still an eight-point Jackson Milton lead. Ball is in underneath, and Grace McDivitt sticks it up and in. And right when you think Jackson Milton you know, was in trouble, a couple quality possessions, kicks it back up to 10. Sorensky out front to Hughes. Around the screen, Hughes feeds Donathan, who muscles it up and in. Execution, a pick and roll. Donovan with a finish. Eight-point lead for the Blue Jays. Terranova over to Lingle. To the top of the key, McDevitt. Now Terranova, who can hit from a country mile away to the top of the key, Williams. Now McDevitt feeds Terranova. Back to the top side, Williams. Inside of 30 seconds left. We'll see if... Jackson Milton elects to hold for this final shot. I gotta believe, yeah, they're not in any hurry here. Back outside, Lingo jumper up and good. The long two makes it a 10 point lead. We're inside of 10 seconds left in this third quarter. Kennedy Miller off the floor, down to three seconds, now two. Miller for three, it's no good. And we have played three quarters of basketball here in Berlin Center. We have the fourth quarter with your score, Jackson Milton 36, Western Reserve 26 of the WKBN High School Basketball Game of the Week. Good luck to all area teams from Stadium GM, proud sponsor of the Game of the Week. Everything is marked down during the winter meltdown sale at the Stadium Used Car Superstore in Salem. We've got over 250 safe inspected vehicles with payments that won't start till May. We've got cars from $99 per month. Go in the snow pickups from just $159 a month. And specials like a Lord's Downville Chevy Cruze from only $9,900 or just $139 a month with zero down. And don't worry about credit problems. We can and will help you get financed. So hurry into the store that has just what you're looking for. The Stadium GM Used Car Superstore in Salem. Engage your senses and feel better with this incredible deal from Salt Sensations in Boardman. Get a $35 voucher for only $17.50. Enjoy a 45-minute open salt session, a 45-minute yoga, stretching, or meditation session, or a 15-minute private booth salt session. Get this deal available now with no fees at MyValleyDeals.com. We have something for everyone. Amazing half-off deals. Sign up now for email notifications and start saving. 
The world changes quickly, and the news that matters to you happens 24 hours a day, seven days a week. WYTV.com, your local news source, bringing you stories from across the Mahoning Valley. And with WYTV.com, all the information you need is in your hands no matter where you go. Your pinpoint forecast, that very latest news from across the community, and breaking stories, all in one place. WYTV.com, your home for community news. Oh uh, yeah, let me get uh, one of them there daybreaks. Man, I need a nugget of knowledge. How long? Well, we're finishing up right now. Coming up at 610. Freshen and on. But That's make room for me. I'm up in 10 minutes. You'll never believe where I'm going. Oh, you got it. Oh, we got a breaking news update coming up. Uh, weather in the threes. Big changes for the weekend. Update is up in five minutes. But up next is Daybreak Nation on location. Have a great day. Their morning is busy just like yours, but they love serving you every day starting at 5 a.m. These student sections have come out in full force here on this Thursday night. Eight minutes to play as a couple of Mahoning Valley Athletic Conference foes square off. It's a 10 point ball game. Jackson Milton with a 36-26 lead. Reserve will open the fourth quarter with the basketball from the left wing. Three ball up, no good from Sigworth. And the ball travels out of bounds. And it'll go back to Jackson Milton with a 10-point lead. What's the game plan now for the Blue Jays? Right now, Coach Miller got the shot that he wanted, just unable to capitalize. If you're the Blue Jays, you're going to continue to do what you've done the entire game. Handle the ball, handle the pressure, not turn it over. Yeah, and if you're Western Reserve, you've got to get those type of stops, and you've got to knock down some shots to put some pressure on the Blue Jays. Top of the key, Alexis Hughes. He's had a big night. Here's Miller. Around a screen, now back up towards the top of the key. Lob underneath. Brooke Morris put it in. What an outstanding pass by Kennedy Miller. Just a nice, soft touch. Lays it in, cuts the lead to eight. 36 28 is our score. Grace McDivitt. Another pass off the fingertips of Kennedy Miller. Out of bounds. It'll stay here with the Blue Jays. 53 seconds in to this fourth quarter. Right now, if you're Western Reserve, you've got to have that mentality stop, score, stop. And each possession from here on out becomes very important but you've got to get stops to get yourself back into this game. Williams. To the top side, McDevitt. Now here's Terranova. Underneath, ball is kicked on the entry pass to the post. 6.48 left. Williams. Has it in. This is Cameron. Nicely done off the window. I'm just so impressed with their passing and unselfishness. Another fantastic look for an easy bucket. 38-28 is our score. Cameron with six. This is Miller. Over to Sorensky. That's Sigworth. Skip pass. Miller off the dribble. Floater off the back edge. It won't go. And the rebound comes down to Jackson Milton's Ashley Cameron. This is Michalina Terranova. Over to Lingo, who triggers halfway down and it falls out. And it's tapped out of bounds. And it'll belong to Western Reserve. And that's one of those shots where you know, Williams has been feeling it all night. You could probably get that one anytime that you want in transition. You know, right now with the 10-point lead. You've done a lot of good things. You just realize what the situation is and what's on the clock. Miller. Over to Sorensky. It's Sigworth. Inside of six left. Ball poked up into the air. Take away by McDivitt. Line, lane, shot blocked at the other end. But it's cleaned up by Terranova. And she's able to draw the foul. She'll shoot two. Another rebound by Terranova. Right spot, right time. You like the aggressive take by McDevitt. And that's what you want to see. 
And usually you get that foul call with that aggressive swat down. But McDevitt uh, doesn't get the call. Turn over the recipient. Free throw, no good. That foul, by the way, was number one on Morgan Donathan. And so Nicolina Terranova will try to split the pair. She has 10 points. She'll try for 11. And she misses the second one. 5.36 left to play in the fourth quarter. Hughes has it for reserve into the corner. Now skip pass out of the wing. Miller for three. Back edge, no good. They just can't get that deep one to drop in here in this fourth quarter. Into the hands of Williams. Cross court pass. Terra Nova drops in the triple. Just goes right about her business. Great spacing. Knocks the three down. That puts him up 13, Chad. And Terra Nova has 13 points. Three minutes into the fourth quarter. Kennedy Miller lobs it right of the lane to Hughes. Back out to Miller. Miller into the paint. Floater up. Contact. No whistle. Out of bounds. And it'll go back to Jackson Milton. And you can see time winding down for Western Reserve. And then it, Coach wants to talk about Coach Kenny. The timeout on the floor, 447 remaining here in the ball game. It is 41-28. Say every week we pick the player of the game. It's one player that has made the greatest impact. That is sponsored by Nightline Embroidery and Screen Printing. We'll feature the player of the game every Monday night on WKBN 27 First News. Chad Krispinski, Will Klusenik back with you. This has been a very entertaining basketball game on this Thursday night. We're going to be right back here in Berlin Center tomorrow night for a big, big ball game featuring Western Reserve and McDonald. This place will be packed as much as packed can be in this great facility. Ball is into Terranova. Now back to Williams. Into the hands of Bogdan. And McDevitt. Terranova in rhythm. Knocks it down! She's really had a spectacular game tonight. Just really doesn't force anything. Goes about her business. Makes great decisions. Just very impressed with her tonight. 15 points. For senior Michalina Terranova, Sorensky raises up and knocks it in. And those are the type of buckets they need, but they also got to get stops down at that other end. Good aggressive take. 43-30 is our score. Terranova slices through the defense. And Terranova. And just the decisions right there. The understanding the IQ. Hey, it's not there. Let's pull it out here a little bit and run some clock. Terranova crosses over. Bounce pass underneath. Off the bottom of the backboard for Williams. There's a takeaway by Bogdan. Off the glass and in. That's Ashley Cameron, the beneficiary of some great Blue Jay defense. And Blue Jay defense and passing. Bogdan finding the open teammate. Cameron, high percentage, gets another easy look. There's a turnover. With 3.26 left to play. And with that, we will take time out. 3.26 to play in the ball game. Jackson Milton can taste an MVAC title. We'll be back after this on the WKBN High School Basketball Game of the Week. Buy your next vehicle at Stadium GM in Salem, where Zero Down delivers every day. Hi, everybody. I'm Dr. Strino. Did you bring your heart with you today? It's in here. It's in there? Breathe in real deep. Ah, let me listen to that tummy. <laughs> let me check your hands, make sure they don't fall off. <laughs> That's all good. Girl, can you get falling out? Nothing. OK. How about a fist bump? <laughs> wow. Thanks, guys. At Diane Sauer Chevrolet, we have one goal, and that is to be your Chevy dealer. We can help you get out of your loan or lease early, 
so you can get into a brand new car or a newer used car. Our two finance managers will help you get the loan you need, and we can help you get out of a touchy credit situation or discharge bankruptcy. The service and parts department have evening hours for your convenience, and our full service body shop will take care of your vehicle like it's our own. Discover the Diane difference at Diane Sauer Chevrolet. Three minutes, 26 seconds left to play in the fourth quarter. It is 45-30, Jackson Milton with a commanding 15-point lead. Remember, a Blue Jays win seals up the Mahoning Valley Athletic Conference crowd. Chad Krasminski, Will Klusenik back with you. Glad you're with us on this special Thursday night presentation. Game two of our triple header this week. We saw a good one over at East the other night. See another good one back here tomorrow night. McDonald and Western Reserve. Michalina Terranova has been the story here in the second half. She ended the first half with a buzzer beater from way deep, and she picked the back up here in the second half. And she has 15 points. It's a 15-point lead. And I think that really set the tongue. Yeah. You, you know, Western Reserve knocks down a big three, thinking you're going to cut the lead to two, and she comes back and drops about a 40-footer. And you can see Western Reserve has to foul in that situation. And think about it, Chad. It's been a clean, like you said, second half. That's only the third foul. Yep, it sure is. So there's going to be a lot of fouls to come up here. That's the first foul on Kennedy Miller. Emily Williams works it over to Bogdan. Back to Williams. Around to the right side, Williams. Ball knocked out of bounds. And if, stay right here. If you're watching reserve, you, you know, you're going to have to gamble. You're going to have to reach a little bit. You know, maybe the officials don't call it. But uh, really, the Blue Jays doing a, a job where they're just going to move the ball, be strong with the basketball like they have been all night. Haley Lingle checks back in. That one off the glass and in for McTivitt. The execution has been spot on tonight. 47-30 is our score. Inside of two and a half left. There's a takeaway by Terranova. Terranova to the line of the lane. Ball is out of bounds. And it's actually off Terranova. I think it was off her knee or shin, perhaps. So it'll go back to Western Reserve. The problem is you can't tell. There, there's no facial expression. It just goes back, goes about her business, plays defense. Very even keel. Yep. Is Terranova. Miller whips it onto the left wing into the corner. It's Sorensky. Traveling called on reserve. It'll go back to Jackson Milton. And right now we've got a little pressure. And reserves are going to try to do whatever they can to get themselves back into this game. But definitely time running out. Terranova ahead of the pack to Williams. Into the corner, it's Lingle, and it is a blocking foul. Western Reserve foul is called on Alexis Hughes. You see number five, Lingle, didn't have a chance to mention this. Haley Lingle is the granddaughter of Jackson Milton head coach Pat Kenny. So that's kind of an interesting dynamic there, and something that not many players and grandfathers get a chance to take part in. Lingo with the ball. It's Williams. Over to McDevitt. Takes the baseline. Shot blocked by Hughes. And with the ball, however, will go off Hughes. And that's about how the night has gone. Microcosm of this yeah, one. That really has. Do a great job of hustling to get the ball. Just can't grasp it. Goes out of bounds and it stays Jackson Melton basketball. Ball is in to Terranova. Out front it is Bogdan. Bogdan loses the handle. Tie up. Jump ball called as Kennedy Miller played some good defense there. Very good defense. You can't leave that ball out in front of you where it's easy to pick because you know they're going to be going after it. 91 seconds remaining. Ball is in to Terranova who takes it baseline. Terranova. 
her decision making has been great as well. Boy, it has. And this is Cameron. Back to Terranova. And you'd imagine that Reserve's not going to do any fouling now. Yeah, that's probably one of those where you're just going to apply to play good, solid defense. There's Terranova. And I think Jackson Miller is doing a real nice job also of just moving the ball, you know, trying to let this clock run out and, and not foul. Foul is on Olivia Pater. Inside the final minute of this one. Western Reserve will go back to the bench. Jasmine Phillips checks in, replacing Alexis Hughes. Hughes had a great night. But Michalina Terranova's was strong as well. And it is a foul on Western Reserve. It'll be the sixth team foul. Coach Kenny has to be very pleased with not only tonight's effort, but their execution as well. Okay. First time we've seen them. Just the unselfishness, the discipline. Uh, great job tonight. Nikki DeSisio has checked in for reserve. Traveling call with 42.1 seconds remaining. In a 47-30 contest as we play the final seconds out. Hope you've enjoyed this presentation tonight of girls basketball. Off the dribble comes Pater. Now to Sissio. Pater inside the final 30 seconds. Jasmine Phillips has her pass picked off. And there is a whistle and a foul on Western Reserve. Called on Kennedy Miller. So the 21.4 ticks remaining. We'll go back to the other end and shoot free throws. It'll be Emily Williams. And now we'll have some wholesale substitutions coming in for Jackson Milton. Jackson Milton student section. Incantatious conference crime. Yeah. Remember, tournament draw takes place this weekend, and those are two really, really good programs as the free throw is in. In the previous four years at the Mineral Ridge District Tournament, it's Jackson Milton and Western Reserve winning two apiece. Jackson Milton winning the last two years, Western Reserve the two years prior to that. Consistency. That's what programs are all about. Sustained success, and both of them have had that over the years. Baseline jumper, it's up, it's short. Morgan Eichert has checked in for reserve. And we have a whistle and a foul. Eichert picks up the personal, I believe. Let's see. Yep. Now to 3.2 seconds remaining. A reminder coming up after the ball game, we will visit with our player of the game. And I don't think it will come as much of a surprise who no, will be joining us courtside. Suspense there, Chad. Not a lot. So to the free throw line will step Williams, and she puts it up and in. But let, let's not shortchange William. She had a fantastic game as well tonight. She sure did. Williams has 13 points. And she makes it a 20-point ball game. 15 points for Williams. Final shot off the mark. And with that, the ball game is over. Final score in this one here tonight. It is Jackson Milton, 50. Western Reserve, 30. The Blue Jays are the Mahoning Valley Athletic Conference champions. They improve to 16-1. We come back, we'll visit with our player of the game. You're watching live coverage of the WKBN High School Basketball Team of the Week. Shop 24-7 at StadiumGM.com where you can view the entire inventory. Welcome to Youngstown Phantom Soccer.
tickets are on sale now, starting at just $10. For tickets, call 330-747-7825. Hey, I heard you bought a really nice car from Sweeney. Yeah, I saw a commercial and they were all like, we take the hassle out of used car buying. So I went in and the sales guy said, did you know Sweeney has the largest selection of certified vehicles around? I found what I liked and the finance guy tells me, we have tons of financing options available. No problem. So I bought it. And on the way out the door, I could have sworn I heard. Sweeney. Is he cute or am I just wearing horny goggles? Goggles. You made the Dean's list. Oh, honey, did you sleep with the Dean? I didn't have to. I'm smart. Kids need space. Take it from me. Is that why I didn't see you my entire sophomore year? You're welcome. Mom, weeknights at 7.30 on My Y TV. A local man is facing felony charges under Ohio's new animal abuse law. Tonight at 11, WYTV visits a local shelter to see how the dogs he owned are recovering. Tonight we head to Lowellville High School and hear from senior Nate Solette, a three-sport star and classroom standout for the Rockets. Colder air is sinking into the valley. That's going to turn on the lake effect snow machine. I'll show you how much to expect and a look at a storm for this weekend tonight at 11. Welcome back as the celebration is on for the Blue Jays from Jackson Milton High School. They top Western Reserve by a final score of 50 to 30 to seal up the Mahoning Valley Athletic Conference crown. Hi again, everybody. Chad Krasbinski, so pleased to be joined by our player of the game, Mikalina Terranova. 15 points, five rebounds, and a couple of assists as well. And first of all, congratulations to you to come away with the season sweep of Western Reserve. How does it feel for you guys? It always feels good to beat Western Reserve. They're backyard rivals, and we just want to beat them every time we play them. What does it mean now with this victory here tonight to seal up that MVAC championship? And, and obviously, it's a goal that you set at the beginning of the season, but to officially get it done, how's that feel for you? It feels amazing. Um, coach preached and preached. That's our first goal of the the year, and uh, we're just glad that we can be the first ones to ever have the MVAC. Tell, champ. tell me about your performance here tonight. Of course, you end the first half in a big, big way. You ended with that near half court three pointer to really set the stage for the second half. Tell me about your performance and what worked so well for you tonight. Um, I felt like I had a rough start uh, and my teammates were just picking me up and giving, giving me more confidence. And then uh, coach told us he wanted to see senior leadership on the floor. So that's what me and uh, my fellow seniors did. And, yeah. Obviously, the tournament is just a few weeks away. The draw coming up this weekend. And I know this Jackson Milton team has some high hopes for what you want to do in tournament play. What are those high hopes that you have? Uh, we want to make it back to regional finals one game at a time. And we just want to play the best game we've played each game we play. Obviously, you lose that game earlier this week. I know you were battling injuries and the illness. But that 24-game regular season win streak comes to an end. How motivated did that loss make you for the rest of the season? That started a fire with us. Uh, we just didn't play our game, and we wanted to come out and show that we aren't overrated, and we are. We play Jack's Milton basketball. Well, congratulations, and best of luck to you down the stretch. We wish you all the best. Thank you. That is our player of the game, Michalina Terranova. 15 points, 5 rebounds, and a couple of assists, helping Jackson Milton to a 50-30 to victory over the Western Reserve Blue Devils. Our postgame coverage continues after this. You're watching live coverage of the WKBN High School Basketball Game of the Week. Make the short drive to Stadium GM in Salem, Ohio to find your next vehicle. Everything is marked down during the winter meltdown sale at the Stadium Used Car Superstore in Salem. We've got over 250 safe inspected vehicles with payments that won't start till May. We've got cars from $99 per month. Go in the snow pickups from just $159 a month. And specials like a Lordstown built Chevy Cruze from only $9,900 or just $139 a month with zero down. And don't worry about credit problems. We can and will help you get financed. So hurry into the store that has just what you're looking for. The Stadium GM Used Car Superstore in Salem. This Friday and Saturday, Metro PCS presents the O'Reilly Auto Parts Toughest Monster Truck Tour. Coming back to the Cavelli Center. 
with the truck that inspired it all in its latest form. Bigfoot. 2017 Tour Champion Snakebite. Their biggest threats, Quad Chaos and Dirt Crew. And more. Plus Megasaurus. Kids tickets start at just 10 bucks. Discount coupons are available at Metro PCS. The toughest monster truck tour. Brought to you by Coca's Beats this Friday and Saturday. 33 News is looking to celebrate the people who help make our community a better place to live. And we need your help to find people throughout the valley that are making a difference. So who is a hero? Maybe it's a teacher or a mentor or someone who's dedicated to helping animals. Go to WYTV.com and click on Hometown Heroes under Community to nominate someone deserving. See a different hometown hero every Wednesday at 6, only on 33 WYTV. Is he cute or am I just wearing horny goggles? Yeah. You made the Dean's list. Oh, honey, did you sleep with the Dean? I didn't have to. I'm smart. Kids need space. Take it from me. Is that why I didn't see you my entire sophomore year? You're welcome. Mom, weeknights at 7.30 on My YTV. And welcome back live to Berlin Center, Western <laughs> Reserve High School as Jackson Milton comes away with a 50 to 30 victory over Western Reserve. And the victory means the Blue Jays are the Mahoning Valley Athletic Conference champions. Hi again, everybody. Chad Krasbinski, so pleased to be joined by the head coach of the Blue Jays, Pat Kenny. And first of all, thanks for joining us. Congratulations. What does this conference championship mean to this group following this win tonight? Well, we, we won it the last two years, and we're coming back this year, and we graduated three seniors. And uh, these seniors, three seniors and an underclassmen really stepped up tonight and just believed in what they needed to do. Uh, we know when we come over here, it's always a barn burner and I um, have most respect for uh, this program over here. Um, we're just so excited. Uh, the kids are um, earned this um, league championship and it will give us a, a, a jump to get ready for the tournament. So we got some big games coming up. Of course, you battled injury and illness over the last couple of weeks and, and you suffered a loss, which you haven't done all season long earlier this week. And Michalina just told us that, look, that lit a fire under this group and it really motivated them. Do you sense that? Yeah, you know what? Um, sometimes a loss does you some good. It gets you to get back to check and uh, understand what we need to get done. Um, we, we came back and sit down and have a good talk and um, got our heads together. And um, the kids that came um, here, we had a great practice. Mm -hmm. um, it's nice having her back healthy, for sure. Uh -huh. And the rest of the girls. And um, um, injuries um, hurts us a little bit. But you know what? Other kids stepped up, like I said the other night, and it made a big difference. One player who stepped up tonight, our player of the game, Michalina Terranova. What does she mean to this program? How special of a player is she, Coach? Well, you know what? I've been coached for a long time. She's a very, very special individual. I've coached her all four years. And um, she just, she does, her defense is unreal, and she steps up at the time when you need her and um, get the job done. And when she'll come in the next day at practice, you wouldn't know she had a great game the night before. She's so humble. And she grabs the young kids and works with them and talks to them and treats them with so much respect. And that's great leadership. Last question, Coach, and we'll let you go celebrate with your team. What are your expectations for tournament play? Of course, it was one of these two teams that have won each of the last four district titles. How good do you think this group is as you head towards postseason play? Well, when I put on, uh, when we wrote down our records and who we play and what's going on, and I put down at the bottom, you know, I'm more realistic than a lot of people. I said there was like five teams could come there and win that tournament. And if you don't show up and get the ball in the hoop and don't do the little things, um, somebody's going to win that game. Uh, we just got to come and do the little things that need to be done. Um, uh, before it'll be two or three teams in that tournament, now there's like four or five teams mm -hmm. that really um, win the tournament. But um, anybody going in that tournament, you got to be focused and get the ball in the hoop and do the little things. Well, Coach, thanks for spending some time with us. Congratulations. Best of luck in tournament play coming forward. Well, thank you so much for having us here and being here, and I sure appreciate it. Absolutely. Thank you very That's much. That's the head coach of Jackson Milton, Pat Kenny. Jackson Milton comes up with a victory, 50 to 30 over Western Reserve. We'll wrap it up when we come back. You're watching live coverage of the WKBN High School Basketball Game of the Week. 
Stadium GM only uses certified technicians and genuine replacement parts. Start your morning with us every weekday on Daybreak. And beginning at 6.30, join us and children from all over the valley as they recite the Pledge of Allegiance. And to the Republic, for which it stands, one nation under God, The Pledge of Allegiance every weekday morning right here on Daybreak. Sponsored by Hometown Pharmacy, part of the neighborhood. They're the classic American family with a twist. I raised a moron. I love you, Boopy. Oh, oh my no. God. Oh, my God. But they're the family yeah. you can't help but love. Family takes care of family. This is what we do. The Goldbergs. Feel the love every weeknight. I got you, baby. Oh, God, no, I don't. Weeknights at 6.30 on MyYTV. Snow days were magical. You just were planning on what wonderful things you were going to do that day. It's a little bit different as a parent. The huge wrench that throws into your planning, we're pinpointing where those snow showers are happening, where those higher accumulations helps to watch in the evening and, of course, to tune in in the morning to see how conditions changed while you were sleeping. This winter, trust WYTV on air, online, and on your phone. Sponsored by Northern Ohio Honda Dealers, Dallas Hartman Attorneys at Law, and Grover Roofing and Siding. On rules of engagement, there are relationship rules. Oh, my God. What happened? I was hungry. I meant to my life. Romance rules. I decided to give up the ladies for a bit. Well, that's bad news for anyone selling pepper spray. Marriage rules. Got you flowers. To get sex. Could have just given you the 15 bucks, but you'd be insulted. Comedy rules. Is there smoking allowed in here? Is someone smoking? You are. <laughs> rules of engagement. Which base at 5.30 on MyYTV. And welcome back to Western Reserve High School, which, by the way, will be our home tomorrow night as well. Saw a pretty good one tonight in girls' action. Jackson Milton coming away with a 50-30 to 30 victory over Western Reserve to clinch the Mahoning Valley Athletic Conference Championship. Hi again, everybody. Chad Krispinski back alongside Will Klusenik. This was a very entertaining game, and although the difference was 20 points in the end, these two teams are going to make some noise in the tournament. Absolutely, and I think Jackson Mountain really stretched it out at the end. You know, it, it didn't seem like a 20-point game, but give Jackson Mountain a lot of credit. They did a, a lot of things well, executed when they need to, and I really think that shot at half yeah. really kind of set the tone for that second half. And hats off to Michalina Terranova, our player of the game. An outstanding performance here tonight. You're right. That set the stage for the entire second half. The Blue Jays never looked back from that point yeah, on. Yeah, and it kind of deflated Western Reserve. They tried to claw back into it a little bit. But Jackson Melton, just a little too much, a little too polished tonight. And I'm sure... Western Reserve is going to put this kind of game, you know, in their memory bank, you know, learn from it. But these two teams probably could meet again a little bit later on down the line. And as you look at the score sheet, there's a lot of different weapons that can hurt you from both sides as we take a look at our final box score. You know, and when you look at it, again, Terranova, we've talked about her already. Williams, great sharpshooter from outside. McDevitt gave him some of that power that they need inside and versatility. When you look at the other side, you know, Hughes got them going and back into it in that third quarter. And, and Miller and Sigworth added their points as well. But really, Western Reserve couldn't get over the hump, couldn't make those shots that they needed to close that gap. So Western Reserve drops to 14 and 6 on the campaign. Meanwhile, Jackson Milton improves to 16 and 1, and most importantly, clinches the Mahoning Valley Athletic Conference crown. We hope you'll be back with us tomorrow night from right here in Berlin Center at Western Reserve High School. What a boys matchup we have for you. It will be the Battle of the Blue Devils. McDonald and Western Reserve will be on the air live at 7 o'clock for the opening tip. So for my broadcast partner, Will Klusenik, and all of us here at WKBN, my name is Chad Krispinski telling you once again the final score, Jackson Milton 50, Western Reserve 30. Till next time, so long everybody from Western Reserve High School.